Hello friends, I wanted to let you know that we are doing another huge giveaway for when we cross 1 million subscribers coming up this November, December, January, whatever. Thank you, Elite Tactical Systems, for sponsoring the giveaway. Yay for you. Now all you guys have to do is visit our website to sign up. Just follow the link below, sign up. The prizes are over the top awesome and they're from ETS, Ironworks, Gear, Vortex Optics, Shivworks, and more. The grand prize from Signature Tours, someone's going to the other side of the world with this guy and a bunch of other warrior poets on an epic trip. Patrons, you're especially treated well as you get the number of votes as the dollar amount of your monthly tier. Patrons, you're awesome. You're my homeboys, thank you. There's no purchase necessary to enter a win. Official rules and legal stuff is on the website. Visit our website, the website's cool. Uh, now, roll video. Hmm. It's cold. Hey, folks. Stop what you're doing. Stand up. Gotta show you something. Come on. So cool. Where is it? As you guys know, we do not have enough guns in the office. Right. So, what I wanted to do was get a special treat, a gift from us to us. Ready? Voila. Oh. This is a Tavor TS-12 gas-regulated 16-round shotgun. Shotgun. Nice. What do you do with it? Shoot it. Yeah, what, what kind of question is that? What kind of kill joy question is that? Uh, the I, question is when? Yeah, that's a good question. Why don't you get yeah. out of here? Okay. Why don't you get out of here? Okay. Frank, I, get out. Frank, out, no, go. Just go. Want me to go back Frank, to no. Go. Just Want to go way. home? Just go. Just that way. Get into the way. Just go. Frank, would you like to play with our new shotgun? I would like to. Yeah, have fun, man. Have fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is, I've never held a gun Can like this. Can you believe that guy? Look, look at him. Keep going! Keep going! It's a bunch of trees! Go! Behold the IWI TS-12 semi-automatic shotgun. This thing's awesome because when you hold it, you feel like you are a character from the Halo video game. I am pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the United States newly formed Space Force will adopt this gun as their intergalactic weapon of choice. Full disclosure, I haven't tested this in space yet. Go ahead and hit that subscription bell, notifications, share, like, comment, all that stuff so I can get funding to hop on SpaceX and test this in outer space. Without further ado, guys, let me talk through uh, one of my favorite shotguns in the world. I really like this because I can pack 16 rounds in this gun. It's a 12 gauge. It's uh, got all its weight back here, so it's very comfortable uh, to operate. There's some ergonomic issues that I don't really like, uh, but uh, anyway, it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, it's a little finicky though, and I wanted to warn you of a couple things before we jumped into some simple operation and some just general 30,000 foot view, high level ideas, pros and cons of this gun. 
Before jumping in, a few features. This is built from a reinforced polymer, so it looks heavier than it is. It has an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's an overall length of 28.34 inches. There is a 1913 Picatinny rail on top and the sides have two rows of M locks that you can put stuff on. I already put a Surefire Scout Light Pro on here with a pressure pad over on this side. And on top, I put the new Vortex AMG UH-1, which I really like in concert with this gun. Gun. There's also some little QD inserts right here, so I was able to adjust the sling pretty quickly. As I've already mentioned, it's a semi-automatic shotgun, so once you put it on fire and you start pulling the trigger, it'll exhaust all the rounds in one of these magazine tubes. Then you can push forward on the magazine locking lever, rotate the tubes, and now you have another tube that's filled with joy. And then you can do it a third time as you have three tubes filled with ammo and then one round in the pipe. Uh, if you put two and three quarter inch shells in these tubes, you can fit up to five in each for a total of 15 plus one in the pipe equals 16. Or you can do four three inch shells in each of the tubes for a total of 12 plus one is 13. That's a lot of firepower. The center axis of this gun is backwards. So instead of all the weight being back here, it's really more here. So even though it may be a little bit heavier when it's loaded, it's closer to you, which means it's a little bit easier to wield. Now, when I grab the gun, I'm not really sure what to do with my foregrip. I could hold on right here and that's, com that's pretty comfortable. I am a little nervous about my hand getting that close to the muzzle, but I guess I'll get over it. Uh, if I've got a couple fingers right here, now I can push the magazine locking lever right here and rotate it over with just a couple fingers right there. And that's pretty quick. And now I can really pull the gun back or I could hold back here like this. I've ran about six boxes of double aught Remington. Now I'm gonna throw some stuff I found in a drawer. This is Federal Tactical. It's also double aught, but uh, it's a different brand. And then the rest will be filled with this 12 gauge uh, Remington lead free frangible. So that's a weird thing, but it's over 1200 feet per second is kind of like the minimum speed that they want you to run through this gun uh, at the two, three quarter inch length. So uh, anyway, we'll run a bunch of slugs through it and see how that does as well. And then the just out of my drawer special. So let's dance. Eyes and ears. So had this been a real engagement, this man would have likely died because he is missing his chest. So uh, you can kind of, you can see that he would unlikely survive because of this. <laughs> Traditionally held against shotguns is ammo capacity. Typically you're looking at five, six rounds. Oftentimes you have to pump the gun as well. So in a home defense scenario, if you're not trained up with that gun and that's not an automatic response, say your wife is using that shotgun as a home defense gun, would she have the fighter mindset and tactical wherewithal to be able to chamber another round? I don't know, but with a semi-automatic, as long as she knows to put it on fire and then she can just pull the trigger, semi-automatic is really nice, provided it's reliable enough. And a lot of semi-automatic shotguns or some of the ones I've encountered have been having reliability issues. Or you have to just bought another one for 14, 1500 bucks. So it weighs in somewhere around there. Yeah, you may find it a little bit less expensive or a little bit more. Right now we're in the middle of the corona epidemic, which means there's no guns for sale, even if you can find them. And if you do find them, they may be inflated prices. So I don't know what you're gonna find it for, but that's what I got this for. I do like the idea of a shotgun for home defense, provided that it's reliable, it's not super long so that you can drive it in around structures and dig in corners and stuff. It's not so unwieldy that it becomes difficult for you or your spouse or whoever's rocking and rolling with this thing to steer it around those uh, corners. What I like is the lethality of the round, whereas uh, if you get shot with a pistol, seven out of every eight people shot with a pistol live through it, meaning pistols aren't very good at stopping threats. We're supposed to shoot till the, the threat stops, and if that means death or they run away, either one of those things, whatever 
ever stops the threat, that's what it is. And you make sure you're good with all legal and moral considerations for that. Now, all those considerations being said, I wanted to talk specifically about where this gun could be very finicky. And it's all gonna come down to what do you feed this thing? Imagine this is a very healthy body, but it has a very strict diet. So what you need for this is you ensure that your load is at least one and one eighth ounce and it travels at least 1200 feet per second. If you're running something like lead free or reduced recoil, any of those rounds that drop down below that 1200 feet per second threshold, this thing isn't gonna run right. You can also do very heavy loads and that also will change the inner telemetry because you got different speeds coming out of it which can make it very difficult to get this thing tuned in right. Make sure you stay over that 1200 feet per second. You should be good to go. But the best thing and what the manufacturer recommends is you find an ammunition that works well and you stick with it. We've taken this to the range about three different times, gotten somewhere to the tune of about a thousand rounds through it. And we tested all kinds of stuff. When I put low recoil rounds in it, it would shoot, shoot, stovepipe, shoot, shoot, stovepipe. There's failure to eject, failure to feed. And so it just wasn't taking that well. Conversely, I have some Fioki. This is double op buck and it's traveling 1,325 feet per second. It works really, really well and it cycles just like a champ. So this is a real winner. Now there's also something, if the gun isn't running right, you have the ability to adjust your gas cylinder. Pretty cool, you take your charging handle and you just pull it out like that. You can stick it in up here and then you just rotate down. So if you're running a heavy load or you're running three inch shells, try it on H first. If you have any hiccups, go ahead and push it back down to low. If you're starting with two and three quarter inch shells, start on on low and that should make you be good to go. Another thing I thought was important to note, other than finding a meticulous type of ammo, is if you use any hand loads or you're trying to use any foreign ammunition, military surplus, or remanufactured ammo, it can void the manufacturer's warranty. So find a good brand that you trust, make sure that it matches the right specifications so that you're feeding this only a very strict diet and it's gonna run really, really awesome. I was very impressed with how flawlessly this thing ran as long as I stuck within those uh, restrictions. So feed it right and it'll take care of you. So I'm gonna keep playing with it over time, but right out of the gate, guys, this is a really good gun. I like it a lot. Guys, make sure you visit the comments section if you've got any experience with this gun or some of the other shotguns out there. Go ahead and report some of your experiences down below so that our entire community is made better by our collective experience, not just mine. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications bell to all like, share, all that good stuff. Guys, train hard, train smart, and uh, stay free.